All right, welcome back to Rare Vis Photos. We are going to go ahead and uh, read some more of your user comments, uh, member comments, uh, subscriber comments. This particular video that these comments are on is we have caught Priscilla again. Uh, Priscilla seems to always have interviews out there, whether they're older interviews or newer interviews, that make us scratch our head because they're so inaccurate. Um, so let's go ahead. So Donna King says, I believe her. Who cares? Anyways, he did love her. Um, appreciate you being on the channel, Donna. Um, you know, I, I think that he loved the idea of who she presented herself as. Uh, and I think that he truly made an effort once they were married. Um, prior to that, he wasn't in no hurry to marry her, that's for sure. And, you know, I know what love is. I, I, I asked my wife to marry me after a week of dating. I knew the first date. I had the ring in my hand. Um... And we've been married for 18 years this year. Um, that's love. You know, and I was a country music singer. And I had, you know, potential record deals. And I had a major music manager. And, uh, and none of that stuff matters. When you love somebody, none of that stuff matters. My wife and I ended up having a country music duo uh, called The Sins Country, S-I-N-S. -S. You just type in The Sins Country, Muscadine, you'll see our music video. Uh, the Sins Country on Google, you'll find iHeartRadio all of our songs so uh angela nielsen and that's love it didn't it, you know love will make you quit everything but love <laughs> but elvis loved us he loved the fans he loved his life uh angela nielsen said elvis made sure made her famous elvis for some reason seemed trapped in the relationship and that's sad he's gone and she's still making money thank you for the video well thank you for the comment uh keep coming back keep I mean, hopefully i'll see another one of your comments at some point soon um it's gonna take me a while to get through these comments uh and i'm gonna have to break them up into 30 minute segments because it's about five hours worth of comments and you know uh that means uh you guys are getting your voices heard and i that's that's what i want this uh, this channel to be uh, whether you agree with me whether you don't um i'm trying to give everybody the opportunity to, to speak their mind three severed heads uh poor elvis was duped by a 14 year old who knew exactly what she wanted she should be called priscilla parker hmm so much like the fake colonel uh, such a shame Gladys died. I'm sure he would uh, not have had anything to do with this blood-sucking leech. Feel for Lisa Marie, too. Uh, Good Riley is a strong, self-assured lady who probably knows a lot more than we do. Her voice shocked me in the video I've linked. Uh, thought it was Lisa Marie talking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another example of acting the quiet, demure, innocent uh, when she is nothing but, in, in my opinion. I'll have to go take a look at whatever video you had linked there. Um, I can't do that while I'm, I'm reading your comments, but I'll, I'll take a look at that. All right, so at Virginia, Faso 6807. Uh, Virginia, I don't think I've seen your name in a comment before, so welcome to the channel if you're new. From the very beginning, her parents, in particular her mother, and Priscilla had their plan. It's been well documented by people that saw things with their own two eyes and heard things with their own two ears. Uh, these are the same people that Elvis trusted up until the time of his passing. She continues to live off of Elvis and his name and will obviously do so until the day that she dies. How disrespectful, shameful, vindictive, and pathetic. You know, you would think that Priscilla would do something other than, you know, go around tour and share the same stories over and over again and share the same, you know, you, th you figure, I mean, she's 79 or 80 now. I think she's 79. You know, doesn't anybody want her in a TV show or a movie if she's such a great actress? Or maybe running somebody's business? Because isn't she the one that saved Graceland? No, she's not. Uh, I'm saying that uh, sarcastically. But, you know, she gets a lot of credit for being some some uh, game changer. And I don't, I don't get that. I, I don't see much intelligence about her. She was beautiful when she was younger, for sure. Then she got a bunch of plastic surgery that made her look like a cartoon figure. Um... All right, so at user-xe5cz3dw8m, did you catch at 411 where she says they spent eight months together in Germany? Okay, yeah, before Elvis left for the States. In her book, and since she said it was six months in an interview about 10 years ago, she changed it, and she was three months into just turning 14 to add to the shock value. In truth, it was only six weeks before Elvis left Germany that they met. They met, met right after Christmas of 59, and Elvis left Germany on March 2nd, 1960. 
Uh, even Elvis said in the press conference he gave at Graceland after returning home that it was only two months before he left over there that he'd met her. Uh, and I believe Elvis is what, uh, what you're saying. Um, you know, I do know that I feel like uh, Priscilla attended the New Year's Eve party. I don't know if it was the, the Christmas party uh, in Germany. Um, but she certainly wasn't with him for nine months. Um, like she, like you say, she claimed her six months. Uh, and, and, and it certainly was not as often, you know, um, as she likes to pretend. Basically, uh, what was going on is that every weekend when Elvis was on leave for a while, um, either Curry would bring her over or uh, he ended up having to go pick her up once himself with uh, his father, Vernon. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, the exact time, it's kind of hard to know how long they were together, but she certainly makes it a lot more uh, than, than it's the truth. I mean, because like you said, Elvis left, you know, in March of 1960. All right, so um, Maria Barber, 61, lies, lies, lies. When will Priscilla realize that Elvis deserved better than what she gave him? Her family and Curry Grant are to blame for the way she trapped him. I agree. You know, Curry... Uh, I don't, I don't think Curry's a good guy at all, and I certainly don't defend Curry and his actions. Um, you know, Curry comes off as a creep, and um, you know he wanted who he wanted, and he, he wanted Priscilla, and he was very honest about that—that that he was very attracted to her. And you know, back in those days in the fifties and sixties, there was certainly a lot of relationships where the the, the girls were younger and the guys were older. Uh, and it it wasn't completely unacceptable. It was only unacceptable if it was if it was your cousin, like Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh, you know. Um, let's go back here. So appreciate the comment, Pamela Lost twenty six seventy one. Great video, thank you. Yes, I agree. I hate how Priscilla is using Elvis to make money. Basically, when Priscilla's lips are moving, she's lying. It's sickening. Elvis will always be the king. Uh, thank you for the comment, Pamela. Um, and. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just the same thing over and over again. I think she's got to change her story because she's probably sick of telling the same story. So she changes it here and there, um, you know, to suit where, wherever she's at. So, yeah, so, yeah, Priscilla obviously met, you know, uh, Elvis at a party. Um, I just don't know if there's anything that really nails down um, when it was. Uh, I You know, I... I, I believe it was probably before Christmas, uh, just to, to go back to the user's uh, comment and question uh, prior. Um, because I remember there being a big ballyhoo about the New Year's Eve party, um, supposedly, uh, that uh, Curry was not allowed to come back over again, which is not true either. Uh, that's another lie that Priscilla told. Earl Walker, Priscilla has lied. Priscilla, I like it, has lied so much over the years. She can't remember all her lies. That's the truth. That is the truth. Um, yeah, so, uh, and then at L L P R I. Oh my, OMG, she sounds like the original MO to getting to Elvis is so similar to Memphis Mafia stalking. Oh, to, uh, to MM stalking Prince Harry. Sorry, I thought MM was Memphis Mafia, what you're trying to talk about. You're talking about, uh, uh, Merkel. What's her first name? Okay, so watch her body language and eye movement. Um, her eyes move to the right often, yeah, when answering a question, which is possibly making up a story or dishonesty. You know, that's that's another thing that the um, that I see as well. She just seems to be very cagey and deceptive. Um, yeah, so, I, and I'm, I'm trying to do some, just look, look around to see if there's any exact date that they were, that they were introduced. Because basically, it just, it always just says a party. Every book I've read says a party. Um, so even if it was, let's just say if it was March that he left. Um, you know, that would be 12 weeks if it was from New Year's. From Christmas, about, you know, 13, 14 weeks. You know, certainly not six months, certainly not nine months. Um, all right, and uh, at U-T-N-I-E-T-J-E. -E. Um, U-T-N-I-E-T-J-E. Uh, I like Linda Thompson 10 times better. She really loved Elvis for who he was and not the money and the fame. I saw a little part of the movie, Priscilla, but turned it off after seeing a scene where Elvis had thrown a chair to her. And still such things where uh, it's shown just to put her like a pretty nice girl and Elvis is the devil. If he was like that, then Prissy should have broken up the marriage. Who wants to be married to a guy that treats you badly? But I think she made it 
much worse than it was. Of course he had a temper, but I, I never heard Linda talk like that about Elvis, only to get money how badly, how nice, and many dollars. She was a beautiful lady, but now she's an older lady with lots of surgeries on her body. Um, yeah, and to go back to that chair scene, in her book, she certainly didn't make it sound as bad as it was. In her book, Elvis threw it against the wall opposite of her. Uh, in the movie... Uh, who she, she's the executive producer, uh, producer uh, Elvis threw the chair basically at her head and she had the duck to miss being killed. How dramatic. Um, so uh, that looks unhuman. Like she looks now exactly what she is, which is a joker. Yeah, uh, yeah, sometimes she does remind me of the joker as well. Um, you know, and that's nothing to do with her age. You know, people can age gracefully and I got no problem with people being 80 or 90 or 70 or 60. You know, um, <laughs> I, I hope I age gracefully. I mean, I tell my wife all the time, don't worry about any crow's feet or wrinkles. You know, I love you just the way you are. You don't need any plastic surgeries, any of that stuff, any Botox. You know, the, people should age gracefully. You know, if you've lived a rough life, um, you know, sometimes you're going to be a little rougher. And Priscilla's lived a, a, a non-rough life. And she's, <laughs> you know, she's trying to be so vain that she's trying to be perfect. And uh, she just made herself look worse. And, you know... Sometimes it happens. At Mary Jones, dash VO5 and Z, those Priscilla fans who say let her be don't realize how she used them to become what she thinks is a star. That's true. She in no way is a star. She's, she's, um, you know, she does make her money going around tour, but it's only because of Elvis. Only. Not because of Priscilla. You know, people want to be around somebody that was around Elvis. That's, that's the large you, way. You go on to say um, that, uh, you know, back in those days, a guy just didn't go up to some girl in a soda shop and ask if she wanted to meet Elvis. She, along with her mother, was a real, was the reason the real Elvis, oh, was, she was the, the mother was the real Elvis fan that planned the trap from the beginning. Her mother wanted her to marry the richest guy in the world at the time, and they would use her looks to get there. As far as how she was treated, all of Elvis's relatives say he bought her a car and clothes and jewels. True, he was not faithful, but neither was she. In fact, to get her to Graceland at almost 18, her mother had to break up an intimate affair she was having with a guy named Ron Tapp. Yes, and that's, uh, that's certainly something, to the, Of course, in, in, that's in the book Child Bride. Uh, she didn't want to go to, to Graceland. She, she liked the bad boys. And I think at the, by that time, she figured out Elvis wasn't a bad guy. He wasn't a bad boy. You know, that was the image he had in the 50s. But, you know, she, she knew him for, for three months or four months, and he was respectful and didn't want to go all the way with her. And she was desperately wanting to go all the way because, in my opinion, and, of course, what the book says, she'd been all the way. She'd been all the way with uh, Curry Grant and probably before that when she was young, even, even much younger, because she used to disappear, according to her friends in junior high school, in cars with boys who smoked and disappeared for three, four hours. And what do you do in those three, four hours alone? with 17, 18 year old boys. Usually, you know, things happen. Um, once again, so here we go. At Eileen Carr, uh, she recently lied again in the Piers Morgan interview. She said she told Lisa Marie that Elvis had died and that she had took Lisa to Grayson for the wake and funeral. Lisa was already at Grayson for the summer in Lisa's autobiography. Um, you know, she's wondering what she's going to say there. See what it, see what it reveals. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, Lisa called uh, yeah, Lisa called Linda. So the user says here uh, at, at NE-BF9UZD, Lisa was at Graceland when Elvis passed. And when Priscilla arrived that night, she and Lisa stayed in a hotel. What Lisa meant was, she, was that she told Lisa that the next time she'd see her dad um, was whatever. Uh, I'm not sure what that comment says, but I, I, I appreciate you trying to explain that. Um that being said, you know, Priscilla, I wouldn't put it past me to try to claim to somebody that Lisa was with her. Um, because she didn't want, she didn't like the fact that, that Lisa called Linda. She didn't call her mom. She called Linda. Um, at Lynn Schrader, 1218, she took Lisa away from Graceland when all of the hundreds of people were, were uh, filing through the house to view Elvis. She was referring to when she was taking her back. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, so Lynn Schrader, you, you may be a Priscilla fan and it's your right. Um, that being said, I, I just don't, first off, I don't have the feeling that Priscilla loved Elvis ever, truly, like never. That's just my feeling. 
I think that she wanted to be loved. She wanted to be valued. She wanted Elvis to be the bad boy. She wanted to be famous. She loved the clothes. Um, but at the same time, I mean, when you're with somebody, you are a bit trapped, no matter who it is. Um, at Gail Gardner and Carrie, it looks like. This is totally true. Uh, this guy's telling the truth with a thumbs up and a smile. So I appreciate you. Um, you know, I'm... I'm kind of just talking about how I feel about the book Child Bride, about what I hear you, what all of you conversate about, and your beliefs as well. Um, at Eileen Carr, Priscilla is a money-grabbing narcissist. Yes, I mean, I, I truly feel that way, too. I mean, she sued her granddaughter, made her granddaughter pay the bills for her attorneys out of the settlement, in a sense, that would be going to the granddaughters, and then made her give her a million dollars, and then also made her give... A certain amount of money for 10 years that's money she's taking from her granddaughters you know and if you're a priscilla fan no matter what no matter how you cut that you are taking away from your granddaughters i mean i, mean, I thought priscilla was a su successful businesswoman and she's worth 50 million dollars what does she need that money for i don't think she's successful i don't think she's worth 50 million dollars i think she's always scrambling and about, about about broke that's my opinion uh, at, uh, and then uh, at uh, Claire Evely, looks like. Claire, Claire Evely. Yeah, Claire Evely, 9348. I read that her father introduced her to Elvis. He was friends with him in the Army, I read. Um, the father, I think, I don't know. I think the father was in the Air Force. Um, now, that being said, Curry, uh, you know, Curry Grant, was the um, the entertainment director there. And that was for all the armed services. So I think that he knew the father. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, yeah, the father didn't introduce Priscilla to Elvis. Um, but thank you for the comment. At Teresa Bowditch, Bowditch, she very well said, well done. So, so very well, oh, so very well said, well done. Thank you. So I'm trying to read this on an iPhone, and sometimes the words are a little, little uh, small. Um, at Flo Archibald, Archbold, Flo Archbold, 5820. Uh, that woman has consistently lied. She made a living off of her lies, and she's still doing it. She's like a vampire. I can honestly, I, I, I honestly can't stand her. I just hope that the book that Lisa Marie wrote will not have her stamp on it. Riley, please don't let the woman anywhere near that book. Well, you know, I've, I've already heard that quite a bit was already edited out uh, or not included. Uh, and these are supposed to be tapes that Lisa Marie Presley recorded uh, of her personal thoughts and feelings. Um, so, you know, I think that there, if, if it's already been edited somewhat, what got edited out? You know, the most negative stuff? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. So, you know, Paul Boyou was actually a United States Air Force officer. So, yeah, so it wasn't, they weren't in the same branch. They were in different branches. And I think they were close to an hour apart, an hour to hour and a half apart where Priscilla lived versus where Elvis lived. Um, just to answer that question back there. At uh, J. Jen 5963, the timing she mentions after we saw each other for the eight months that we did. It's such an easy lie to debunk. There we go. Now, here we go. Here's the answer. They met on September 13th, 1959, and Elvis left Germany on March 2nd, 1960. That's not even exactly six months. Her math and lies have actually been always very bad. That's true. She's not a smart person when it comes to that, which... Once again, not everybody's a math person. I happen to be a kind of a math major type of guy. So, I mean, math is easy to me. But for her, who I believe she felt like there was a house that was worth $54 billion or something like that was the number she wrote down <laughs> in, the, in the divorce uh, fraud settlement thing for Elvis thing. It was some crazy number that was maybe four or five digits off. Uh, so Elvis did not ask for her to come over to the U.S. for a visit until '62. Which would make her 16 or 17, depending on when the call was made, before or after her 17th birthday, on May 24, 1962. Uh, then only moments later, she claimed she moved to Grayson, I know, when she was close to 16. That would have been before March 24, 1961. If journalists had done their research and had a spine, they could have called her out on her lies, even as early as the 70s or, or 80s. That's, man, that is truth, you know, that uh, she's gotten away with making stories up, uh, with, with inaccuracies, and... You know, that's what that's what uh, journalists are supposed to do. They're supposed to be 
You're supposed to put the truth down, or as close to the truth as possible, unless it's an opinion, an opinion piece. And that's what uh, Suzanne Finstead tried hard to do. She tried to be uh, unbiased, and she tried to, to put the truth down. So she got sources from people that knew uh, Priscilla back in the day, back in the early days, junior high, even younger, uh, people in high school. And she got their stories. Priscilla's story is not the only one that matters. Everybody around her matters. And if it's only one person saying it, which is Priscilla, or two people, Priscilla and her mom, and, and there's 12 to 15 to 20 other people, you got to believe the 12 to 15 to 20 other people. All right, the truth and the to- true timeline is this. Elvis returned to the U.S. on March 2nd, 1960, while Bayo and her Babalu, whatever her name is, Babalu, Babalu, and her family remained in Germany. Uh, there she terrorized her mother and stepfather because she had only released, yeah, recently found out that she was not, he was not her biological father. So, yeah, so she had found out before she met Elvis, and I think that's part of, like, the rebellious thing, too. Um, she lied about her home situation, begging Elvis to save her by letting her come over, and she made family life in Germany for her parents and half-siblings hell. Priscilla Babalu Babalu pursued Elvis, uh, sending him risque photos of herself, facilitated by her parents, and taken by Curry Grant, may I add, the person that she said she had no contact with, and that Elvis had kicked out of the inner circle on New Year's or Christmas, one of those two parties. Big lie, you know. Um, According to the book, once again, i got to say that because I was not there. Um... Her mother and stepfather played a questionable role in the development of Babalu's long-distance affair with Elvis that reeks of ulterior motives. If they'd really been worried or incensed and believed that all the initiative came from Presley, they could have stopped it right then and there. Yet they didn't. They played along. Uh, They first allowed her to visit Elvis in the U.S. when she was 16, which was, uh, it says 61 or 62, before May 24th. I believe it was 62 that that happened. Um according to what I've read. More than a year passed until her next visit at 17 in 1962 after May 24th, before March of 1963. Uh, Bayou uh, did not move to Memphis until two months before she turned 18, which was March of 1963, and she moved in with Elvis's father, Ferdinand and stepmother D. Now, that part of it, I don't believe. I, I, well, I mean, well, you know, it, it's very possible. You know, Elvis was shooting movies. He was gone a lot. It's very, very possible that she did live with Vernon and D and didn't just come stay over at Grayson full time. But um, well, obviously when she turned 18, she did move into Graceland. It is total nonsense that many claim that she lived with Elvis since she was 14. I know. It's just, uh, I get it too. Um, Boyou and Elvis weren't even on the same continent for the better part of three years. If anyone groomed her to be with an older man, it was her parents. The Boyous were a clan with a plan, period. And that's got 38 likes. Uh, so there's a lot of people that agree with you. Uh, very good comment. I appreciate that. I'm going to close this video right there. It's, uh, and then we'll, we'll continue on. Uh, and I'll continue to get through all these comments every single day. Um, greatly appreciate everybody. Uh, please like. Please subscribe. Please hit all the notifications. Please become a member. Um, would love to have a bunch more members. And um, that's about it. Okay, until next time, this is Rare with Photos.